everybody, welcome back to Pixie Woo. Uh, it has just been the Met Ball and there was some amazing, very out there avant-garde makeup, but Kim Kardashian looked amazing. So I'm gonna do a Kim K look from the Met Gala for you. Well, I'm gonna give it a go anyway. Um, I had a few breakouts actually, and you go through stages where you have great skin and then I've got a couple of little breakouts. So, let me put some makeup on my face. Right, start off with, I've already moisturized my skin. Um, you can use a primer as well if you want. I don't really care if my makeup stays because I'm only gonna take it off after I've done this video. Uh, I am going to take a little bit of this Stila foundation. It is called Souffle, I think. Uh, lingerie Souffle. And I tried this the other day. It's amazing. It's such a nice coverage. Needs to be, for me, I need to be quite well moisturised underneath it. It's a little bit dark for me, this colour, actually. I put it on the other day and I had fake tan on and it was perfect colour. I don't have any tan on today, so it might be a little bit dark. It looks really dense and dark, but actually on the skin, it kind of blends in quite well. But I just love the finish it gives the skin. So I'm going to buff that all into my skin. I actually don't think her look, look was that difficult. Um, she just looked flawless. Now one of my friends does her facials sometimes um, and he said she has the most amazing skin ever. I don't today so let's see if I can make it a bit better. It's a tiny bit yellow for me this foundation. So I'll just bring it down the neck a bit. Actually, I'm not not just taking this makeup off because I'm going out for dinner with my husband, so I'm going to try and do it so it will last pretty well. I don't normally need to primer my skin's very dry. So everything sticks to it like glue. I'm using a Real Techniques contour brush just to work that into the skin. I like this brush. It's quite similar to the setting brush, but a tiny bit denser. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of primer for my eyes. This one is, um, is it called Gen Nude? Yeah, Gen Nude in the colour Lit, and it's by Bare Minerals. And that is going to give me a really nice base. Often I like to use a concealer here, but with the makeup I'm going to, I'm going to use, I think a concealer will start to crease, um, because the other products I'm putting on top really do have the potential of creasing as well. I'm going to take a deluxe crease brush and just buff that in. And first, that's going to give me a really nice base. For my eyes. It's really raining outside, it's rained all day long, how miserable. So I'm going to take it right up to the brow so it's creating a really nice even base. Guys, if you're feeling nosy, who isn't nosy? Me and my husband have started a house account where you can have a nose around our house. It's called Haste Kitchen, uh, Haste Kitchen, that's my husband's YouTube, it's called Haste House. Check it out on Instagram. Give us a follow and have a nose around my house if you wish. If you're into designing or houses, I've got a little lump come up there. So that's giving me a really nice blank canvas to start off with. I'm gonna do my brows next. Now Kim's brows were really nice, but they weren't the be all, end all, brushed up kind of brows that we were used to seeing at the moment. They were just nicely shaped to her natural brow shape or how natural her brow shape is nowadays. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of, this is Shurimura Brow Pencil in Seal Brown. I have used this brow pencil since day one of doing YouTube. 10 plus years, if you look way back, I used to use it way back as well. I've got different ones, but it does last a long time, this pencil. It's really, really hard and not waxy, so it stays on really well. So just made my brows a little bit more shaped with that. I'm then gonna go in with a little bit of um, Kevin Aquan. This is Dark Brunette, I think, yes. This is the Precision Pen. Why do I forget the names of everything? The Precision Brow Pen Pencil. I'm just, oh, and I'm just going to use that just to define the underneath a tiny bit. So it's just giving me a little bit of a stronger shape underneath. And then we are on to eyes. These 
First, I'm going to go in with a little mixture of both the Bare Minerals ones in basic and work. I'm going to mix the two together because I feel like it's a tone in between the two. Work is quite grey brown. Basic is a lot more warm. I want to see what these two look like together because that might be the colour that I'm after. I'm going to take a Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush and just buff that over the lid and let's see what colour we get. So we need the base, primer base, to neutralise out the eye so the eyeshadow shows up enough on there. It looked quite matte what she had on through the eye. It goes quite far into the corner. That's quite a nice colour actually and it looks looks about right. The reason these are good is because they'll stay put. I feel like the eyeshadow colour is very similar to MAC Groundwork, but um, I didn't have that one. It's a paint pot. I didn't have it, so... I'm using what I have. I'm just going to go right over the top of... I'm going to zoom them in. I'm just going to go over the top of that with a little bit of this one from my Vizzy Art palette because um, I think it will just give blend it a tiny bit nicer and just give a little bit of depth through here. I will come back and do the underneath and finish the rest of the eyes. First I want to do a little bit of liner. Um, I'm going to go in with this, I've never used this, Cake Pencil um, by Kat Von D in Trooper Black. I'm going to take that on the bottom waterline. I'm going to take that on both waterlines actually. I'm then going to go in with a little bit of Stila. Um, this is waterproof liquid liner. I'm just going to. I have to look that way because I have slightly creasy corner eyes. Just draw that there. Give me a slightly sharper black line on top. This is purely for the lashes to sit on, really. Actually, if you look closely, Kim's lashes are quite far away from her natural lash line. She's got quite big eyelashes on and they're quite uncomfortable. God, it used to be so much easier to do liner. I'm getting older. Okay, a little bit of mascara before I go in with um, false lashes. This is Clinique. This is high impact, a lash elevating mascara. Again, I'm going to come back and do the underneath in a minute. Still got a bit of process to go before I do the underneath. Right, let's go in with a touch of concealer. First, I'm going to go in with a Tashin. Um, this is Illuminating Deep Hydrating Firming Eye Serum. I want to pop a little bit of that on before I put my under eye concealer on because this makeup's been on for a minute. It's going to, well, probably about 10 minutes the base. It's going to be a little bit dry under the eyes and I want to put a good coverage concealer on. So I need a, a moisturised base to put it over. So I'm just using my Deluxe Crease Brush just to work that in. Then I'm going to go in with a little bit of my Becca. This is Ultimate Coverage Concealer. And that is going to conceal my under eyes. So you can see it's quite a drying concealer. Well, it's not drying, it's more tacky. So it needs that moisturiser to give it a little bit of a move. Otherwise it would um, really sit too dense. For me anyway. I'm in my office. In your office? Yeah. Where are you going? Hi, my little book. Oh, well done, darling. That's fantastic. Bradley was on my book. What? Bradley. Bradley was on your book, was he? Yeah, and now he's gone on the same book as me again. Oh, really? Good work, sweetheart. He started off the same one as me. Mm, that's good. The web. 
I'm going to have a dream now. I hate spiders. Oh. Well, spiders are actually really good. We need spiders, you know. Well, I just don't like the ones who are giant. Here she is. Do you want to say hi on the camera? Hi. Hi. She's got a new book. She's very proud. Not. Well, it's amazing. You should be really proud of yourself. I go party. You go, go party. I'm going to a party. Just taking a little bit of my MAC full coverage. This is actually studio finished concealer, just to conceal my blemishes. The Becca one's a tiny bit light for what I want to conceal. It's nice for lifting the under eyes, but it's a little bit too light for concealing my blemishes. Anyone else do silly faces like that together? So now I have concealed my under eyes, I can go back in with my eyeshadow that I used um, to give myself, not the, um, not the Bare Minerals ones, I'm going to go back in with this Visi Art eyeshadow and just drag a little bit of that under the eye so it brings that makeup round. MAC Extended Play Mascara on the bottom lashes. to make them stand out. I'm going to take a touch of my Chanel Bronze Universal. This is on, or is this called Soleil de Tan now? Soleil, Soleil Tan de Chanel. And I'm going to take that on a buffing brush and just pop that on my cheeks. A little bit under the cheeks, but not completely, if that makes sense. I'm not con using it to contour still. So I know I do say, don't use a bronzer in that area, but it, it can a little bit, just warming the cheeks up a little bit. And take that down my neck as well. I'm then gonna take a little bit of my Rodeal um, Banana Low Light, and I'm just going to run that here. A tiny bit on my cheeks, a little bit here. Might even take a tiny bit through here. And then get my contour brush, just buff that in. So it's just giving me a little bit of a lift in some little areas. I'm gonna take a smaller brush to do that bit. That's why I needed to put the moisturiser under my eye, otherwise it would just instantly crease. I'm going to take a tiny bit of bronzing powder, this is the Charlotte Tilbury one, just to dust over so it clings and gives me another topping of, oh, my hair is caught in my eye, just to dust over so it gives me another once over of bronze and just like kind of combines the skin together. Now at the moment I don't want to go in with a cream highlighter because it will move my makeup because I've got more makeup on than I would normally wear. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of this Becca Moonstone. Um, hopefully it doesn't have too much shine so I just want it to sit. Yeah, perfect. I don't want it to look glittery or anything. I just want it to reflect. Then we're on to the lip. I have got three lip liners, Oak, MAC Oak and MAC Strip Down and um, Charlotte Til Tilbury Iconic Nude. I'm going to start off with Iconic Nude. I'm just going to colour the outline of my lips in with that. I'm then going to, I'm toying between Strip Down and Oak at the moment, so I'm going to take Strip Down. And just go around the outside. I want to leave a little bit of my lip in the middle nude. I'm going to take a Q-tip or a cotton bud, whatever you call it where you're from, and just buff that in a bit. And then I'm going to take my brow pencil that I used earlier. This is a Shumure one. And just make that a really stony colour around the outside. 
I'm then going to take a little bit of MAC Pearl lip gloss over the top to give you that light gloss. And then we're back to the eyes. I'm going to take a little bit of this Troy Surratt. This is called Hadik Hadaka. Hadaka. And this is like an eye gloss, and I'm going to just pop that in the middle of the eye. So it's giving me that little bit of lightness through there already, but not quite enough. So over the top of that, I am going to take a little dusting of, where will you be? Reflex Pearl. Just a little dusting. You have to be careful of this product because it does cling to anything. So uh, it will cling to the eyeshadow that isn't sticky as well. So we've now got that lovely shine going through the eyelids. Um, and then some lashes. Now, I don't know who these lashes are by. Um, they look so uncomfortable. But I'm going to put them on anyway. Because they look the sort of shape that Kim's were. So there you have the finished Kim Kardashian Met Gala makeup look. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.